is that server? All right then. Yo, what's good, Jai? If you're new to the channel, my name is Shadiq, and I like to know crossover media. I'm really excited to see that Dappy has been coming through and giving us hit after hit after hit lately. I don't think he's really missed over the past like year or so with all the songs that he's been dropping. He's a legend. He just, I don't even think he can miss in general. I don't think Dappy's ever missed in his career, as far as I know. And I'm hearing a lot of people saying that this Dilly Duppy was really dope, and Dilly Duppy is one of those platforms that you can always rely on to deliver. And they wouldn't allow someone like Dappy to come through and get something mediocre either. So I really want to hear what he has to say with this one. If he's into the punchline approach or the storytelling approach or even combinations of both. So I don't want to hold y'all too much longer. Let's get it. And I'm liking the fact that Daily Duppy has put yeah. Daily Duppy in the mic. Well, hold on. Take it back. Whoa, he jumped straight into it. Remember the dubs and your girlfriend loved them I really had a rap on nah, nah, nah. I was in the tea with fears and times so we were really chopping up brown and white We would have knew from two and the blue would have done out the whole or two now Alright then Alright then the slides were cold, but they were too loud for no reason. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, he's wilding, he's wilding, he's wilding, he's wilding. He's saying a lot. His hat is on the floor in the corner. He's he's doing a lot. He's saying a lot. That bar was rude. Okay, there's a lot going on since then I know I'll be rich forever and the blood still out here digging up dirt on man but it's whatever just digging as a song called it's whatever it's whatever I'll be rich forever and the blood still out here digging up dirt on man but it's whatever just the same done just without a woolly hat just a little more moolly in a loot bag from a penny up and bad enough to play ground them times now start dash on the bully van all six started shining down the vents one all seven started paying on my mom's rent one then times she was still in a grow house I was on the main stage really filling up tents every 25th of the 12th we were sitting there at MT tree like this ain't no banter real man up in the house when we never had shit I come dishing out gifts like Santa nowadays holidays and love stuff but I still box chips chicken and Miranda bun trying to catch a bird on my chest just for defending another man like Tang Tango you winning or is it a lie every other day I see you snapping in Dubai this man is wild. I don't even know what to say. He's saying a lot. With the five minute Daddy Duppy, he's probably gonna switch it up and go towards the storytelling. I wouldn't doubt it. But also wouldn't be surprised, nor would I complain if he keeps going on this beat the whole way through either, to be honest, because he he's shelling right now. He is absolutely shelling. You winning, or is it a lie? Every other day I see you snapping in Dubai. It's having lit out there, you're telling things out there. More time you're selling creature on the side. I made a milli way before I even learned to drive. I hate the mini club, the boss even 25. Gonna separate the little ones from the guys. I'm still living off PRS from all night. Hmm. My whole life I've been getting looked at like a nigga. For those of you who are unfamiliar, I believe that PRS is one of the companies that like, pays people for their streaming revenue. Separate the little ones from the guys. I'm still living off PRS from all night. My whole life I've been getting looked at like an alien, but I'm grateful, let's face it. I just switched this cheap tech con, lit up the whole room. I'm looking like a big blue spaceship. Oh, my jewel on my one pop's name on my chain. It's a cool engraving. Yeah. We were living in a block, I had to break free Cause I didn't want a life that's basic hmm. You a real one or an imposter You just act like you need to win an Oscar You on the road side doing up Debo on the D-Lo You're probably singing to the Oscar Hell and girly in the room, make the bum bounce Don't you back before you go and cook my bus down Did a pencil in, no meetings this week You're too busy getting drawn out on Clubhouse oh. Okay, so it's about to switch up I don't think, I wish that he would have did the vocal thing in the beginning too He's probably about to do that now though Oh, the next one. Nah. So I the fact that there was like a transition, like he actually did something to transition into the next half versus just like cutting it. He's gonna run me the next one. And I feel like this is gonna be the storytelling vibe, like I said before. Again, I'm liking the touch of them actually putting Diddy Duppy on the mic. Those are the small things. Reminded me of like we won't raise. 
Minus the auto tune, of course. If you go out for me, then you my brother, you my sister. No, we we gotta say, yo, you have to give Dappy his credit. Like he's one of those artists who can adapt to the times very well. Artists like him, Skepta Gets, Kano, even Wretch, like they can adapt to the times seamlessly. Like. He's given us the, 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 I guess, of course, what, a trap wave, I guess, right? He's adapting to whatever would be the sound as if he's been doing this from day one. And obviously, we know that he hasn't. He's done so many different kinds of sounds. And it's like, no matter what he does, he doesn't sound rinsed, in my opinion. It always feels like he's bringing something a little bit fresh. You feel me? There are very few artists who can stay relevant for this long and can keep up with the sounds. Okay. Wow, that's... Morrison just said not the same thing, but you said the similar thing about you took a couple hours, but they weren't... What is it? But they weren't losses, they were lessons, something along those lines. And then, granted, honestly, a lot of people have said th that kind of line, but it's just funny the fact that I just heard Morrison's Dilly Duppy and then. Yeah. And then I fell, but then I ended up winning. I had to take a couple hours before I learned my lesson. And you're singing, coming trauma. Tried to keep it in, but I couldn't cause a coma. Word to my mama. Hmm. This is what I wanted in the, the beginning. I've got the devil and the angel and they beef on my shoulder. So when you see me in the DMs, guy in hammers, cause I'll turn up on the hater face to face and on the ground. And it's funny because I was gonna say, yo, let's give Dappy his flowers. But honestly, I don't even like saying that whole, you know, give him their flowers. I get what they mean by it, but you know, I don't like saying it. It just sounds strange coming out of my mouth, in my opinion. But um, yeah, like give him his credit, yo. You gotta give him his credit while he's here. He's a legend. This could have been a song, like a song song, like, I say you know you gotta have something coming because he's just giving us stuff like this on a freestyle. You gotta have something coming for us. Kids be out here on the streets and they bustin' their whistle. Whilst the kids be overseas, stay ducking from missiles. Mm. Like in the zoo. Be out here trying to cover their plans with blood on their hands. When they're the ones funded the missiles. Look, how am I supposed to trust when the man that's in position keeps fucking up the system? Still, we live to fight another day. Hmm. We push the pain away, dash it in the ribs, Lord. Sometimes you gotta say I'm finna dodge you. It's dope to say here artists use their platforms to make those kinds of statements. This one feels like a song that maybe he was like, ah, I don't want to release this as a song. I'm going to use it for Dilly Duppy or something. Maybe, maybe not, but has that vibe. I like it. I like it. So on this channel, we hold the vows. That means we're getting straight into it. I'm giving this one a 9.5. Truth be told, let's be honest, Dappy is a legend. The likelihood of him missing is next to none. Like, I don't think he's ever put out anything that's outright bad. Maybe not for everybody, right? Maybe there's more of a mainstream taste for some songs than others. Maybe, maybe not. But at the end of the day, like, Dappy's put in work and he stayed relevant for so long. And again, he's one of those artists where he can come back however many years later and flow on any beat just like it was 2009, like he said. Like, he's, he's a legend, yo. Give him his credit. His throws on this one were airtight. They felt very dappy, especially the latter half where he was singing and rapping and is flowing in and out of both styles so seamlessly. The first half as well, it definitely has that very refined, modern, dappy vibe to it. He just delivered so well. The beats complimented him very well, although I will say I like the first beat more than the second one. I think the second one, it made sense for what he was saying. I just kind of feel like listening to that first one with the high energy, he's slowing on it, he's saying all the maddest things, and then going into that slower vibe, it kind of prevented me from really being able to appreciate the second half as much as I probably would otherwise. 
Because again, this one feels like it could have been a song. More so the second half. That second half feels like it could have been its own song on like a project. Maybe even like an outro or something or a bonus song. Maybe even an interlude. I don't know. But everything about this was A1. It was very much so a Daily Duppy level in terms of the lyricism. He had aspects of the storytelling. He had aspects of the wordplay especially. Right? As always, I already know which approach the artist is going to take once you hear the beat more often than not. And he did not fail to deliver. This is also probably one of my personal favorite Daddy Duppies to listen to this musically, like just to enjoy and just listen to, leave it in the corner, right on the computer, while you're doing something else. Because he has the flows in and of itself, even if you're not listening to what he's saying, you can get hyped off the flow. He has the voice and the vocals, so even if you're not listening to what he's saying again, you can just be excited listening to that passively. So that's the main reason why I'm giving this one a higher score for the replay value. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. And as always, hang tight for more reactions. I do got more that's coming for y'all. But until next time, peace.